What up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Dark and Darker on your Apple Silicon Mac. Quick caveat before we get into it. I'm playing on an M1 Max and getting around 80 FPS on Mac settings. I'm not sure what performance will be for M1 Pro or Air or any of the other M series chips. So all I ask is if you use my video after you've played for a bit, please come back and comment what kind of Mac you have, what settings you're using, and what performance you're getting with it. Alright, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to need is to get Crossover. Now, Crossover is a paid application. It basically lets you run a bunch, not all, but a bunch of Windows games on Mac. At the time of recording, probably for Cyber Monday, there is a huge sale going on. However, if you see over here on the left hand side, there is a free two week trial. Before you buy it, I recommend at least playing for a little bit on the free trial just to make sure that the game's running smoothly for you and it's in a playable state depending on what Mac you have. And also if you do buy it using the link in the description I do get a small commission for it. So on the left hand side we're gonna hit try now. You're gonna input your name and email and click download trial now. Then once you have the zip file double click drag crossover over to your applications go to your applications and then double click crossover hit open once crossover pops up we're going to go to where it says steam and double click hit install once you get to the steam setup page hit next choose your language you can choose where you'd like it to be downloaded i just leave it as it is hit install and i'm going to uncheck run steam here because there's going to be a couple settings you need to change before you run Steam in order to get the game working. So then finish. Okay, now that we're here, we're going to go over to the right side of Crossover and click D3D Metal and M-Sync. Hit Reboot Bottle and Enable. Then we can double click Steam. Now the first time you run Steam, it's going to take quite a long time. Usually, at least for me it does. So don't be alarmed, just let it do its thing. Once it's open, you're going to sign in. Once you're signed in, we can go to the search bar over here, type in Dark and Darker. It's a free game, but because I already own it, it's showing it's in my library. So you're going to hit the download button, and in your library, download. You can choose where to download it to. Hit install, accept their EULA, and I will be back when this is finished downloading. So quick side note. If you notice that the progress is stopped, like if you click the download and then up here it says zero, just exit out of Steam and reopen it. You can do that by going across over, hit quit all applications. But anyways, once it's finished, we can hit play and give it some time to boot up. And while we're waiting, if you want to play with the metal HUD on, basically this thing on the screen that shows you the FPS, you can go to your terminal, copy and paste this code that will be in the description into your terminal and hit enter. And if you ever want to disable it, replace the one with the zero, or I'll leave the other command in there as well. Um, but in order for it to actually take effect, you have to close out of Steam and Crossover and then relaunch it. So you're going to get this uh, graphics driver warning. Just hit no. All right, it's going to take you into the game. Let's let it load up. Now, I already have a character, but it's going to ask you to create a character, and yeah, I'll just hop into a game real quick to show you all that it's working. Also, don't judge too hard, I have no idea how to use a mouse and keyboard to play a game, but uh, yeah, I'm here for it. Also, while the game is free, there is like a paid version of something. I don't, I don't fully understand it yet, at least for the most part it seems like you can play for free. Alright, so click the map, start. Anyways, that's about all I got for you. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more Mac gaming tutorials or my thoughts on games. If you used my affiliate link to buy crossover after, you know, making sure it works, thank you. Appreciate it. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one.